están disparando. No, están disparando. Están disparándole a la gente. Stop. Colombia is crying. Hundreds of our people are missing. The blood of students, activists, ordinary working class Colombians, Afro and indigenous people has flooded the streets of our country since April 28th. Peaceful but impassioned protests over the government's proposed hikes in taxes on salaries and food products were met with shameful violence. We've seen indiscriminate shooting into crowds, tear gassing of medics, and rubber bullets shot into young people's eyes. The government's violent tactics have only helped to fan the revolutionary flame of the protesters. This is not the first time. From the Bogotazo and the Paro Civico to the Paro Campesino. What's the difference this time? Social media. Being able to see the reality of what is going on. The violence occurring in the major cities during this pandemic. They no longer have la guerrilla as a scapegoat. La gente ya no aguanta más. The country's ruling class, the political class, and the capitalist elites can no longer hide behind their powerful mainstream media channels. It's clear for everyone to see that those who run the country do not work in the interest of the majority of us. The gig is up. What can we do? Donate funds for food, medical care and legal defence. Pressure our political representatives, both local and national. Help end the violence. Join us, attend rallies and marches to show solidarity. United, we are stronger. What can we do moving forward? We need to get political. Whether we like it or not, this is about politics. We must get involved in Colombia's politics if we want things to improve. With the presidential elections coming up next year, now is our chance to start campaigning for a better, more progressive Colombia. Let's support the Pacto Histórico, the coalition of all the different progressive parties and political leaders. It's time to say bye to Duque. Duque, nos vemos en las urnas. These are just the first steps towards the total transformation of our country. We must be active in this political process if we are to see the violence, the poverty, the enraging injustice we see today finally be overturned. Our country is bleeding, and we, the Colombian diaspora, immigrants and children of immigrants, we need to play our part. Together, we can make a difference.